Hello, good evening, friends. God bless you. Uh, and I am trying to share something very uh, phenomenal uh, things I have found uh, in the scriptures. Uh, for the last few days, I was uh, uh, praying and uh, trying to understand uh, in the simplest form what faith is. Now, there are so many scriptures there. There are so many sermons are out there. There are so many books are out there. Um, but still, I was on, um, on that journey about figuring it out, what is faith. And I was praying earnestly about it. And something God showed me from the scripture where um, Jesus himself, Jesus himself described what faith is. And uh, that you will find in uh, Matthew chapter 8. It's uh, uh, Jesus healed the servant of a centurion in Capernaum. The story is well known. Uh, but the centurion uh, come to Jesus. And prior to that incident, uh, all the miracles that Jesus has done, they were all around uh, in an area of Galilee, uh, and Capernaum was part of Galilee area. Now, whether it's uh, turning wa water into wine, or healing uh, Peter's mother-in-law, or Jesus giving the Sermon on the Mount, Matthew chapter 5, 6 and 7, and also at the end of the Sermon on the Mount, healing the leper. Everything was happening around Capernaum. And Jesus' fame has reached to so many places, far, far places. So Centurion was from Capernaum and he must have heard everything about Jesus. He has heard also about the healing of leper and Centurion realized that there is something special about this man called Jesus. He he understood because he was a man of authority and he said that to Jesus that Jesus if I tell one soldier go here he will go or come here he will come and I realize that you have authority which I don't have that you are casting out sickness your authority over sickness no man can have that authority so he's coming to Jesus and requesting Jesus to heal his servant. But the profound way he said it, that I am not worthy that you come under my roof. So two things. He recognized the authority Jesus is carrying. And he also recognized that his own life, his own standing. Because being a centurion is a very, very tough job. In a time of war, definitely you kill enemies. But in a time of peace, they are meant to maintain their soldier feet. And also they are responsible to maintain law and order. And law and order, Romans were known how they were maintaining law and order. If you are non-Roman or uh, if you are not Roman then if you do any criminal activity they can crucify you or if you are a Roman citizen they can behead you they can kill you other ways so Ro this centurion has authority and he knows what he has done throughout his life so he realized that Jesus you are not worthy to come under my roof you just speak the word and my, my servant will be healed. And then Jesus turned to the crowd. It is the same crowd that has heard the Sermon on Mount. It is the same crowd that has witnessed the water turning into wine. It is the same crowd that has witnessed Peter's mother-in-law healed. It is the same crowd that has sown the leper healed. But Jesus is not telling them that you have great faith. Actually, he is telling them that I have not found such a faith, great faith in Israel. That means including that group of people. 
but he says that look i have not found such a great faith in israel that means what centurion did jesus called a great faith and that's how i understood now that rather than going through theological understanding doctrinal understanding of faith what centurion did that act jesus called faith so what centurion did centurion recognized that his own condition is not worthy he has a doubt that jesus may come or may not come to my home so actually if you look into uh, gospel of luke centurion has sent also the leaders of the synagogue the jews and they came and on behalf of centurion they made a case that this centurion is good to our people this centurion has built a synagogue for us in capernaum so come and help him so this centurion is has a doubt whether jesus will come in my home or not because i am not worthy jesus may not hear my request but at least he can hear the request of his own people and that's why he sent the leaders of the synagogue to jesus according to gospel of luke but the point is that when he realized jesus is a power and authority to heal my servant and he has a doubt he has a two options he could have remain home or in spite of his all doubts he goes to jesus and he did went and that act jesus called a great faith so my friend if we if if you have if you somebody has told you that hey uh, your prayers are not answered because you don't have a faith or if you have a faith then god will answer your prayers and having a faith is a good thing and god does answers the prayers with a faithful heart but if we use that as a measurement answered if we use the answered prayer as a measurement of our faith then we are we might be on a wrong path because what jesus ex- explained that with all our doubts still we go to jesus still we come to the throne of grace that is a greater faith that is a great faith you know when job was on earth there was something happening in heaven where jesus was uh telling every uh god was showing that uh, or telling everyone in his in his courtyard in front of his throne that have you noticed my my son job how righteous he is job did not know what is happening here on earth but uh, sorry what is happening in heaven job did not know because he was on the earth in the same way with your doubts with your with your uh, unbelief still you come to jesus even when your prayers are not answered you come to the throne of grace and i guarantee you jesus is saying in the heaven i have not found such a greater faith in this generation i hope that god has blessed you today that if your prayers has not been answered does not mean that you are lacking faith but with unanswered prayers with doubts what with 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 uh, questions still you come to jesus that's a great faith which you have god bless you thank you